you going? Didn't see you there. All right, so we're just about to load up our cars to go to Fres Island, and it's going to be an epic trip. So I think Blair's going to be getting bogged quite a bit in his horse. He reckons it is. It's a Mazda Bravo. He's got some new shoes on it, so it might be all right. So we've got young Chloe, she's going to be with camera girl this whole trip. So she's going to be out there taking trips. There she is. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to be a fucking epic trip. So we're going to keep you updated. Then we have a few different episodes. And yeah, jump on the barge, you go to Fraser. This is the group. Let's do some handstands. Handstands. We've got Blair. <laughs> Good old man Rod. Dad, Tim. We've got Jacko. Hey, We've got Chloe. Hello, We've got Jake. So is the barge coming over now. Oh, it's Tim's beast. Hey, getting You're not getting done by me. So Blair, what do you what do you call this, mate? What's this one called? It's a horse. Like, it's a horse. So we got one horse here. An Everland Cruiser. That's Dad's. I doubt it's by the aerial. Feel like mine, but without the turbo. Very much. Stuff a truck. It's not even wide up. Just for looks. <laughs> so it's just there. It's not even wide up. I think we you or not. It's kind of man. Yeah, Quite a good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they just connect to each other, so it's kind of fun. Yeah. Can't buy it for 20 bucks. Hey. Can't buy it for 20 I bucks. I would work it out. 20 bucks. Yeah. Out of zero on that. <laughs> $200. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he does that last one. He's adventure. And you notice his laugh, eh? Hey? What do you mean? It's all fucking cringy and loud. <laughs> it's a cool laugh. No. What's the setup you got in here, Tim? You got your um, fridge set up. It's like a lot of Fuck yeah. Yeah, start waving the flag of the flag. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, when you find something. That's the barge we're going to go on, and Fraser's over there in the corner. So, we're about to load up the cars. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we just pulled it up, we got off the barge and um, what I want to do is take my air down to 25 PS. I've got about 40 in at the moment. Just because going on sand driving, obviously all different terrains all different from mud to going down big hills and shit, but just gonna go in soft sand, looks like it's been raining, fills up the sky, it's not gonna be a bit of rain over here. So which means the sand's probably gonna be pretty hard at the moment, so it's sort of it's a bummer because you know, a bit more challenging when it's soft. So yeah, I just got this little gauge. This part there takes air of the tires, and that part there you can check the tires still. And I want to go just 25 PS. It sort of just started raining. Oh, why is it every time we come to Fraser, it's always perfect sunny skies, and then bang, it starts raining. Oh, crazy. So it's a bit of a rig rundown. Land Cruiser 2005 model. It's got a turbo on it. I'll take you through the car later on. Got some LED light bars on it. Got a winch. 33 inch mud tires. My car is loaded up at the moment. Like loaded up. Wow. I'm esky full of alcohol. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I fill my car is you open the door up and this shit just falls out. Got my swag in there, tent, two 10 litre bottles, Esky full of piss, maxi tracks. Yeah, oh, I was like one little bag, mate. One little bag. What are you doing over there, Blair? Oh, please, <laughs> <laughs> Got some more beers in here, but they don't mind. I was carrying them, but if I break, it's not my fault. Got um, the fridge on, all my meat in it. Going on for a week. It's like frozen at the moment, but it's good, keeping the meat frozen. 
the jug, but yeah, what we'll do when we're like setting up camp later on, we'll have the tripod set up and show you guys how it's all fucking going on. A little drawer in here for food. This drawer here is for me covering gear, a bit of tools and shit like that. Rid. Unfortunately, I didn't pack a rain jacket, raincoat. So, someone's gonna get wet, but not in a good way. How's your car going, Blair? So, you got the got stuff in the back, got, the got some wood. Look at this. When did you put Jacob? Why is he sitting? He was where. It was like on the right side. Yeah, but we had all our bags in the fucking tray, so. I had to get rid of the rubbish, bro. Yeah, true. Give him a damn. If you're watching Jacob, you're not rubbish. Oh, we love it? you. So, I am a little bit concerned about my car, too. It has been making a weird noise, so I don't know. My little brother reckons it's not the clutch, but it's making a noise. So I don't think it's not too major, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Do CVs make noise? It's not a CV, I know it's not. <laughs> it's a Mexican plate crunching noise CV. Yeah. Um, well, you're not I think it's. Then, yeah, you? well, like I mean, Blair's car's got nice and light. What are these things? 31s. Hey. Oh, the rims. What's that? Oh, okay. Those bursts look like that. A little plastic thing. Oh, we broke something off on already. No, no, no you that's just so I can get to me fucking hubs. Oh, yeah. But what's it for? It's just like a plastic. Yeah, it's just the rims. I can take them off. So the whole rim's plastic? No, they're steel. See that, guys? Never buy plastic rims. They're steel. Ah, you mean steel rims are in the car? Ah, yeah, around there. And, and then, okay. It's only these things that that's the little fucking wank factor. <laughs> so what do you like? Bank like this? Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah! Fucking <laughs> reach around. Reach around? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. well, you know, What's this? You got a storm for it as well. Yeah. Did you have that all the whole time? Yeah. That's pretty sick. That was the job. Okay. What does this Tanner go to? To the bull bar, it's not even wide up. Oh man. It's, the looks. it's off a fucking truck though. Yeah, cool. <laughs> no, I got you. Truck, I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. Here, little sherry. Kangaroo fucking yeah, whistles. Sherry. They work, eh? Oh, so, me a couple times. So, who are we waiting on? Fucking, oh, they drove past, bro. We just pulled in here. Dad said he was going to take a shit or something. It's last time I'm on the top Place. All right, should we go up there? You're right here, I can find them. All right, two of you guys. Yeah, I seen him drive past there. All right, so we are going in here. So yeah, back the car, but I feel like I don't want to jinx myself, um, but I think I've been losing a bit of compression lately. It's been blowing white smoke, so a little bit worried, but I'll see how it goes. So these are the dingo counters. So I might be better off going first because I know where to go. Where are we going? Up, We're going up to, to the Cape Station. Just handed the radio over. Blair hasn't got a radio. He's got this big aerial in his car, but he hasn't got no radio. Yeah, copy big rig. Copy. We hear you loud and clear. Yeah, copy big Jacko. There's a big Timo in the case. Here comes Mick Dundee. Nah, I feel like Dad's like the next Mick out of Wolf Creek. What's his name? Dad's getting a big fat Lucy. Ha ha! Oh, Lucy! Fucking Mick's name of Wolf Creek. Mick Taylor! <laughs> That's my dad, he's so bogan. Yeah, I should put it in a full drive, eh? Look at you got yours in full drive yet? Look at that fucking stuff in the back. 
I'm loaded up. <laughs> I'm only by myself. The others have like three in their car and whatnot. Whoa, well, no, 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 big hill. A bit soft. Wow, we're gonna stop here, we're gonna put the fucking hubs in. Hold up, man. So we just made it to Euro. Hey guys, we're stop. There's a car coming through. There you go, man. So Euro is just like a little town. We've got like a resort here as well. Some residents live there and whatnot. It was pretty cool. Um, I have like this little bakery there where we always get a pie. And even though you pay $7 for a pie and $10 for a loaf of bread. But you know, because it's so remote to get like trucks in and stuff like that. And the tourists love it, you know. The little bakery gets smashed. $7 pies. <laughs> so come over here, open up a bakery. It's <laughs> coming down, it's getting a bit soft. Number plate. Mate, you're fucked up, your number plate. Oh, what are you gonna say? Looking up, bro. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I thought it was. Yeah.
Alright guys, so we're just at the Mahino here. It's pretty cool. Obviously I'm not going to tell you the history because everybody knows the history of the Mahino. Obviously it was a big ship that was out to sea. It was getting, it was broken down, it was transporting. Getting transported by another big ship. And then fucking strong high tides, all sort of stuff. And then the rope broke. And then, yeah. Fucking, this is what happens. When a rope breaks and you're out to sea. Hey guys, Lindsay Adventures. Adventures. Adventures, mate. What's yeah, going on, mate? Hey, yeah, buddy. Nice to meet you, buddy. What's going on, mate? Hey, yeah, good, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, this is just me, old mate, Jacko. Oh, he's me, mate. Subscribe, subscribe and like to his channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, let's do it uh, the fucking Titanic. Yeah, apparently. The old Titanic. This is what happened. Um, <laughs> it crashed. And it got bombed. Um, nah, everyone knows the history of Nahino. But no, back in the day, yeah. well, back, back in the day, I came over when I was like a little kid. Yeah. And this was that wall out of the sand. Yeah. And um, fucking. Oh, even two years ago, bro. It was yeah. Wall, you know? Yeah. And we just like climbed over it and we we're like kids and shit. Can't do it now. It was all rusty and shit. Yeah, half up. Then we, sort of yeah, bro. We can climb all over it and shit. Oh, like so has that not been here for many years or not? Like, I mean, a couple of decades, obviously, but... but Probably a good hundred years, bro, yeah. yeah. So what, what do you call this one, mate? What do you call this? Uh, fucking Titanic? Titanic, bro. Karima or Karima or some shit like that. Nah, what happened was, um... This was, uh, used for tiger practice back in the war days. Yes. Or the, um... Yeah, it was they getting... Tried to pull it back from the road break. Yeah. There was some rough waves and shit, and then it just fucking came in. So we're about halfway, we're making a mission up to Sandy Cape. Sandy Cape is right on the fucking beach. Um, this is why I'm beautiful, this is why Fred's so beautiful, because you got all these sand dunes and trees and stuff. You won't, you won't jump. <laughs> jump up there. Yeah, just go to the top, bro. Yeah. Sure. All cats land on there. Yeah, right, let's do it. <laughs> let's go and do it. I'll do it, bro. Sit up there with the edge of my boogie board, hanging yeah. off the edge, man. Let's do it. I do want to make it home. Yeah, I do want to make it home. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, pretty cool. So, uh, I've probably been over a couple more hours, been up to um, Sandy Cape, and it's going to be a bit of a mission. We're going to get through Indian Heads, and that's where a lot of people get stuck, especially if you've got a trailer or a boat on the back of your car, because it's so sandy and you got to go around for all these rocks and stuff. So, um, touch wood, when it gets stuck, the sand is a bit soft at the moment. It's not too bad. So, um, this is our group of cars. So, I'll do a quick run rig rundown. Oh. Team Sudeo, Colorado, piece of shit. We got a Mazda Bravo. We got a Surfy Toyota. Surfy. Surfy Toyota. Oh, everyone, this is Carl. I'm at my 30th vlog. It's Tate, my sister. Um, he's gonna give me some niece and nephew soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is my old boys. Rick, well, fuck, there's a hole there. Um, the only difference is it's a bit more rigged up, and he's got a bit more gear on it as well. It's pretty cool. It's higher than yours, mate. A bit higher, I reckon. Feel a different standard. Well, that's where you got a lift now, aren't I? I want new stories, but I like. And you got 33s on as well. A bit more jacked up. Mm -hmm. So that's the 2.5 lifts. No, it's a 2 meter. It's a 2 meter. Wait. Same one I have, maybe mine's just sagged down heaps. I've had mine for about a year and a half now, oh. my lift kit. It's just sagged down heaps. Mm -hmm. It's sagged down in the front heaps, so I'll never go tough on this again. <laughs> tough on this shit suspension. Who want to buy suspension? Don't buy tough tons. No. Fucking old shit. Man here. Old man Emu. Yeah. Um, only because this old mate works at ARB. He's just trying to fucking sell his business. ARB. 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 Expensive. Uh, Say hi, Marnie. It's my little sister. Hi. There you go. <laughs> you going alright? Yeah, Good little girl. Good little girl. What are you doing? <laughs> Gotta follow this wooded bus, see what's going on over here. 
What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? I can see a little snake. I don't know. What are you doing, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> Just catching a wild beast in his area. You got peepers. Peepers. How do you do that? Like a pigeon poo. You sit on a tree and go flat, flat, flat. He's <laughs> got some dark coming over now, eh? Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh! 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 At this point. So Tim's fully bobbed down. We have an audience. Fucked up. Yeah, if the most powerful vehicle goes down. Like. So that's um this is Magala Rocks guys. Um it's pretty bloody soft. And uh yeah basically just cruise up here. Gotta get a good run up and sort of just hit it really hard. Tim went pretty good, but <laughs> just bottom up the front. Yeah, it's going to be oh, cool, I know. What's he going to do? Do you have to No, someone else goes up, we're just going to get bombed as well. What if you come out for the other end? Uh, that could work. What a fuck around, eh? Tim, what do you want to do, mate? I can get road come up with the winch. I better go. If he comes up the front with the winch, he can pull you fucking get you a bit of ground. You only need like half a meter, and you'd be fucking sweet. Yeah, pretty fucking torn up. Pretty torn up. Yeah, get road to come out from the front with the winch. Oh, we've got maxis. Let me try your tracks. Good on the walk tour, is it? Yeah. Just say, like, yeah, we'll just so we can do it for communication. You know, just have it on your fucking leg. Yeah, good, good. It's good for this shit because you can hear what's going on. You can run up, and you, if you're out there, yeah, the other way, yeah. There's a car coming, stop, guys. Oh, 
่ายอยเราไม่ได้พูดถึงเขาเลยเพราะเขาเป็นไฟน์นะครับสวัสดีครับคุณ What's like when I'm camping and all goes? That looks like no one's camping. Oh my fucking bunk and he's Today, 
boom, we got stuck in the Gala Rocks. Unfortunately, I don't know what got filmed or what didn't get filmed, but um, virtually what happened was my little brother went up in his Colorado. He got pretty stuck and um, he tried to use his massive tracks, he couldn't get out. So I went up behind him to winch him out. And then basically what happened was um, I got stuck. So the sand was so soft. Then he got out. Alright guys, so we just pulled him to camp. So, same spot as last time. Just gotta figure out how we're gonna set up, what we're gonna set up. So I think I might just go here, awning out. Sit up there. Where are you parking, Tim? 